Hello everyone and welcome to the Garden Green channel. We can sow winter lettuce from mid-August to the end of October. First, we will fill these gardening termination trays. We fill them with soil for planting, only as much as it can fit without pressing the soil. I saved seeds from my favorite type of lettuce, which I will plant today. Lightly tamp the soil you filled in, to make room for the seeds. Minimum temperatures for the germination of lettuce seeds are between 37 to 41 degrees, and optimal between 57 to 68 degrees. It germinates at a temperature of 59 to 68 degrees and then emerges in 3 to 5 days. Place the seeds and fill the trays to the top. Depending on weather conditions, its seeds germinate in 5 to 8 days. Remove excess soil and water well. Direct sunlight exposure should be limited to 2 hours daily at temperatures above 68 degrees. We can sow it every week. In this way, we will ensure the harvest over a longer period of time. Chicken Manure Pellet One of the strongest and best organic fertilizers for the garden. It is especially recommended as a substitute for manure, it enriches the soil with stable organic matter, humus, and microorganisms that improve the chemical, physical and biological fertility of the soil. Wood Ash It has been used as a fertilizer for plants throughout almost all of history. Today, it is once again becoming an increasingly popular supplement in organic farming. It does not contain nitrogen and sulfur, but due to a lot of potassium and calcium, it is desirable for all the plants we grow. After we have mixed the soil with a tiller or a hand tool, we will level the sowing area, and remove the remaining roots and other impurities. Parsley Planting This is one way of making a seed slot. You can also use various garden tool holders, which you will see during the video. The depth for planting parsley is 1 to 2 cm, laying the seeds does not have to be uniform. You can thin it when it grows 5 to 6 cm. Carefully cover the soil so that the seed does not move and expel the air so that the seeds have contact with the soil. Water well and make sure the soil has enough moisture until the plants grow. You can plant parsley throughout the season every two months if you want young and fresh plants. In organic production, older plants are susceptible to various caterpillars, which are an excellent place for food and wintering. The tomato moth, Lacanobia oleracea, is a particularly a pest in greenhouses but can also inflict damage on outdoor crops. Sowing Peas to grow peas, it is necessary to loosen the soil well and dig a little deeper, about 30 centimeters, because the pea root is spindle-shaped and penetrates deep into the soil, even up to 120 centimeters deep. Peas grow best on weakly acidic to neutral soils with a pH of 6.5 to 7.5. If the soil is more acidic, a few weeks before sowing, when preparing the bed, it is good to add a little wood ash which alkalizes the soil and enriches it with potassium, so it is also a kind of fertilization that is very welcome. Sowing in autumn is best done at the beginning of November if the temperatures are not below 50 degrees because this is also the lowest temperature for germination. It is sown in rows 2 to 3 cm grain by grain, to a depth of 4 cm, with a distance between rows of about 30 cm, or in houses of 6 to 8 grains and a distance of about 30 cm. Peas tolerate temperatures well below freezing and down to minus 17 degrees. Carefully cover the soil so as not to move the seeds, then knock the air out of the soil for better contact with the seeds and water the bed. Unlike other crops, peas do not tolerate too much water, so do not overdo it with irrigation. It would be best to make raised beds so that water does not stay on the ground, as this would be fatal for the seeds. Planting spinach It needs a lot of water because of its shallow roots. It does not like underground water, but frequent watering. That is why it is necessary to raise the bed a little. Level the bed and remove roots and impurities. The distance between the rows should be between 20 to 30 centimeters. You can make rows for sowing in various ways. 
Here I used twine for a nicer look and easier picking. I will use this board for more precise lines. Spinach is a crop that is sown several times throughout the year and can be returned to the same place. In addition, poor precultures for growing spinach are similar varieties, such as beets, turnips and Swiss chard. It is planted at a depth of 1 to 2 centimeters. It grows fastest at temperatures from 64 to 68 degrees, growth is slowed down at temperatures below 50 degrees. It is harvested when there are at least 5 to 8 fully developed leaves, so the outer leaves are cut or the entire rosettes are cut. Carefully cover the soil so as not to move the seeds, then knock the air out of the soil for better contact with the seeds. Around the spinach, you can plant aromatic plants that help defend against pests, such as basil, sage, marjoram. Other good neighbors and precultures are tomatoes, peppers and eggplant. In addition, it is a good intercrop in greenhouses. It is an important source of iron and is rich in minerals. During growth, water moderately and frequently. Onion planting. After we have fertilized with chicken manure pellets and tilled the soil, we remove the roots and other impurities. The most important thing when planting onions in autumn is not to sow them too early or too late. The best time to plant onions is from mid-October to early November. If you plant it too early, the stem will develop too much, so it will be harder to withstand low temperatures. So don't rush planting onions. Onion bulbs are planted between rows 25 to 30 centimeters apart. The distance between planted bulbs in a row should be 8 to 10 centimeters. After planting, it is best to water the onion with lukewarm water in the amount of 10 liters per square meter, because, in the initial stages, the onion requires more moisture for faster sprouting. It is necessary to maintain the humidity of the soil so that the onion sprouts evenly, but you should not overdo it so that the disease does not develop. The optimal temperature to be maintained in the greenhouse is between 59 and 68 degrees. Cover the seed carefully and knock the air out of the soil for better contact between the seed and the soil. Planting Swiss chard. It should be planted in row spacing of about 20 centimeters to a depth of 2 centimeters, with a distance between rows of about 30 centimeters. If we sow Swiss chard in mid-July, we will be able to harvest it from September until the first severe winter. Sowing Swiss chard depends not only on which variety we will sow but also on the climatic area in which we intend to sow them. Chives Planting After we have made a small bed, make holes at a distance of 20 cm in a row and 40 cm between rows. The ideal conditions under which this plant germinates are temperatures between 59 to 70 degrees, and a sufficient amount of sun, 6 to 8 hours per day, because it does not tolerate shady places. The soil should be moist and well-drained, and during the growing season, it is important to water more often so that the plant is as healthy as possible. Put 7 to 8 grains in the holes, close the holes and knock the air out of the soil. The long green leaves can be usually 30 to 50 centimeters high. When chives bloom, they are ready to be harvested and then the flower must be removed so that the plant does not spread uncontrollably. Planting Carrots The distance between plants should be 3 to 10 centimeters, depending on the variety, and the distance between rows should be 30 to 50 centimeters for sowing in rows on a flat surface. Thinning is done when the plants have two true leaves. You can also do this at this stage, but it may be more difficult due to the entanglement of the stems. Carrots also need to be covered because if the root is out of the ground, a green head appears, which heralds a worse taste. Carrots and other root vegetables thrive in loose soil, which should be loosened to a depth of 30 centimeters, adding a small amount of sand can also be helpful. Carrots should be grown on humus and loose soils with a crumbly structure because such soils enable the proper development of the roots and prevent the appearance of deformations called forking, bending, and cracking. Seeds can begin germinating at temperatures as low as 37 to 41 degrees, 
but this results in a very long germination period. After sprouting, young plants resist low temperatures and withstand frosts down to 23 degrees without damage. Optimum temperatures during the carrot growing season are around 64 degrees. At daytime temperatures higher than 86 degrees and hot summer nights, root development is slowed down, it remains thin, short, and tastes worse. Garlic Planting Autumn garlic has a bigger head and larger cloves, unlike spring garlic. When we plant, we make sure to only use the larger outer cloves and not the ones from the middle. The land needs to be fertilized with manure or compost because garlic requires extremely fertile soil for planting, and then plowing at a depth of about 30 centimeters. I will raise the bed because garlic does not like underground water. Autumn garlic should be planted at a depth of 7 to 10 centimeters in well-prepared soil. Feed with pelleted chicken manure in early spring, as this fertilizer is the best source of nitrogen. Nettle can also be used for this purpose. To make the holes easier, add a small amount of water if the soil is dry. The minimum distance in a row is 10 centimeters, and between rows is 15 centimeters. You can find this practical tool for making holes in the video description. Pay attention to the position of the cloves in the ground. The lower part of the onion, where the root was, always goes into the ground first. Larger cloves produce larger heads, so use only the outer and largest cloves. If the winter is warm and dry, water it because it needs moisture. After lightly covering it with soil, sprinkle a thin layer of wood ash. Potassium in ash is an excellent fertilizer for garlic because it slightly alkalizes the soil, which suits garlic for good growth. Next year, in the first half of July, we will take this onion out of the ground. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing.